Hi, Daniel Monforti here from Regal Technologies, and today we will be continuing to build, debug, and analyze our remote control robot. Today we will be looking at the serial bus to confirm that the initialization process is occurring properly and that there are no added bits or noise being added to the signal. To start off with, our robot that we're building currently has two main boards. The first one is our microcontroller, which is really the brains of the operation and controls both the speed of the robot, the sensors, along with basic functions of it. The other board is our wireless communication board. What this does is first establish communication with either a computer, phone, or tablet, and then transmits out a live video feed from the camera that's built onto the robot. During the initialization process, the wireless communication board is first establishing connection and then taking the parameters, like the angle of the camera, and sending it back to the microcontroller for future use and for doing its initial setup. In order to capture the initial communication between the two boards, what I'm going to do is I've already set up our oscilloscope to capture the signal, but I'm going to hit our single button and I'll also turn on the board at the same time, and what I'm going to do is just capture the initial communication. The yellow line, which is channel 1, is the transmit from our microcontroller to the wireless board. And the blue line is the receive line on the microcontroller, so the transmit line from our wireless board back to the microcontroller. And what we can see here is most of the communications coming from the wireless communication board. And that's the board basically telling the microcontroller, hey, these are initial settings, these are the sort of devices we're connected to. So what we're going to do is we're going to look at the first large packet. So to do that, now that the capture is done, I'm just going to move it over to the center of the screen, and then I'm going to change our scaling out just to kind of zoom in on it. And we'll go to the beginning of it, and we'll see here our decode starting to turn on just because we're showing more of the signal. And what we'll see is right now we've got our two lines. Our bottom line shown in blue is our receive line. And we've got our decoded data as we go across. And we've got a whole large bit stream, which this is a great way to just look at your data going across the screen, just so you can easily spot if there's any changes. And you can do this at all your different communication events. But because it's such a large sort of data event, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to zoom out quite a bit. And then we'll actually go into our decode menu. In order to do that, I'm then going to go into display and then turn on the event table. And with the event table turned on, what we have here is we have our packet view, which this is a great view for allowing you to associate it with a time component, along with if it's a transmit or receive line, your data, and if there's an error. And so far, the first couple ones have no errors. And just scrolling through, most of them don't have errors going across. Another way to view our data in the event table is in the payload view. In order to do that, you just click on the payload tab. And what we have here is all our data being displayed, and we can move up on it, up and down, by using the touch screen. And what we can see is starting on, say, the fourth row down in the C column is 3D. And what this is, is basically the wireless board is clearing the buffer on the microcontroller and sends it a large stream of data of the same data um, just to clear the buffer. So we'll see it go through, and then it'll actually, once it's done, it'll actually retransmit the same data again because it wants to make certain the microcontroller receives it all correctly the sec for a second time and it received it the first time. So it does this a couple of times. And with the payload view, say if we saw an arrow, say in our 3D section, if there's, say, 4D or another value, we could easily look at that and we can actually then go back to our packets view. And if we scroll down till we're actually at our... 3D sort of section, we can then say take one of these and then jump to it and then if we exit out of our sort of event table we can then zoom in on it and see if there's any problem with it to see if that's what's causing the issue. And what we can see here is we've got our data here and this is our end of our data set. Which with the event table and the serial decode option, this allows us to easily view a large amount of the initialization process with our two boards. With an oscilloscope and protocol analysis, we are able to easily view and identify any problems that may be occurring with serial communication between our two boards. We are able to identify crosstalk between the send and receive lines and view the serial data of the startup process of our robot. Now that we have identified there are no communication issues between the two boards, all we have to do is screw the boards onto the robot. 